Hi everyone, I've just come back from a short holiday, which means it's back to me making random tech videos on a semi-regular basis. So today we're going to be activating Windows Server 2003 over the telephone. Will it still work 20 years after its initial release? Well, let's find out. Now, I'm by no means the first person to activate Windows over the phone on YouTube. Other channels like Enderman have done the same thing with Windows XP, and initially I wanted to try and do this with Windows Longhorn, because why activate an outdated OS when you can activate an OS that was never released? Unfortunately, that was a complete flop, and so I decided to activate Windows Server 2003 over the phone, which looks and feels very similar to XP, but with optimizations for servers rather than personal computers. Now, it's interesting that Microsoft allowed Server 2003 to be activated over the phone, considering how expensive Windows Server licenses are compared to regular versions of Windows. So now, let's find out if we can activate Windows Server 2003 over the phone in 2023. Okay, so I'm about to call the number now, so if I just get up my phone. Uh, 25 days left for activation, yeah, I know. To the Microsoft Product Activation Center. To help us improve the quality of our products, services, and training, this call may be recorded or monitored, and information collected on this call may be accessed by Microsoft affiliates, subsidiaries, and service providers internationally. To continue without recording or monitoring, thank you. This call will not be recorded or monitored. For security purposes, please enter the following number on your phone's touchtone pad. Five, two, zero. Thank you. Welcome to Microsoft Product Activation. To activate Windows, press 1. There is a virtual assistant available on your Windows 10 or 11 device to troubleshoot and activate your product. Click the Start button. In the list of apps, look for Get Help and click on it. To there get started. 2003. Press 1 if you would like to continue with phone system activation. Yeah. You have previously upgraded to Windows 10 or 11. Press 1. Otherwise, press 2. 2. When you install Windows 10 or 11 for the first time on a device, you need a Windows 10 or 11 product key to complete activation. Wow! Otherwise, press 2. If you are at your computer with the activation screen open, press 1. Otherwise, to make it easier to activate your product, you can use your internet-enabled mobile phone instead of our audio self-help system. To get started, I'll need to send a text message to your mobile phone. Otherwise, press 2. Let's continue with the audio self-help system. Okay, now take a look at your screen. I'll ask you to tell me the installation ID. The installation ID is a long number broken into several groups. I'll ask you for one group at a time. Please enter the digits in group 1. Great. Now enter the digits in group 2. Next, enter the digits in group 3. OK. Now enter the digits in group 4. Alright. Next, enter the digits in group 5. OK. Now enter group 6. Alright, next, enter the digits in group 7. OK, now enter group 8. Alright, and finally enter the last group. Got it. Thanks. One moment please while I look that up. Now, I will read the confirmation ID. Oh, it worked. Nice. You will need to use your keyboard to enter it in the empty blocks you see near the bottom of your activation window. As I read each six-digit group, I'll say which block it goes in. Now, use your mouse and position your cursor in block A. Once I've read the entire confirmation ID back, you'll have the chance to hear it again. If you're ready to get started, press 1. Block A is 1. 
Okay, I've hung up. Maybe I need to restart for this thing to recognize that it's activated. Uh, we'll just restart. Okay, well the activate Windows prompt has gone, so this is now a fully legit version of Windows. Nice. <laughs> 